Wednesday Campanella have dropped one of the most impactful songs, even by their standards, but it's a really interesting one. Is it the best of Wednesday Campanella? Is it the most radio friendly? There's a lot to discuss with it. So let's get into talking about Shotoku Taishi or Prince Shotoku by Wednesday Campanella. Let's go. Hi there and welcome back to Japan, where if we're going to talk about Shotoku Taishi by Wednesday Campanella, we really have to address the fact that this song is clearly setting out to be a super catchy and also kind of joyful pop single. It is obviously Wednesday Campanella in all the ways we expect, you know, high quality production, very dancey. It's got a um, just an amazingly varied delivery from Utaha up front, doing all kinds of things from singing to rapping, all different rhythms coming in. Um, it, it does all the Wednesday Campanella things, but this is definitely just Designed to be a single aloe, the sort of Edison vibe. You know, it's definitely an earworm. It's not going for so much of the trying to push the boundaries like something like Buckingham maybe did, where they're going for a little bit more of the crazy Wednesday Campanella. This is definitely a straight down the road crowd pleaser. So, does it bring across the best values of Wednesday Campanella when they try to do these things? Well, one thing that's always been true of Wednesday Campanella, all the way back from the Kwame days through to the uh, days now with Utaha, is that there's an interesting relationship between the songs where the production gets more high concept and the songs where it's more about just providing a nice sort of bed for the vocals to play around over the top. The vocals definitely are always something that's given room to breathe in a Wednesday Campanella song though. And as with Edison, I think this is one of those examples of where the music is not really doing much in the way of heavy lifting. It is simply a bed for the lyrics to have fun over. But as with, again, the best of the Wednesday Campanella songs, it is doing that in a way where it is simple, but not in that kind of reductionist, sort of uh, boring, bland, minimalist, there's nothing going on kind of way like happens with certain Western pop songs. No, this is a kind of minimal where it's very delicate. All the sounds are nice. You know, it's kind of got a smooth bounce to it. There's a little bit of an 80s synth thing going on with the bass underneath, which is, again, very sort of staccato, just popping in for quick little boom, boom. Yeah, it's, it's very, um, very nice, delicate light touches. The feeling of all of the sounds in this song is kind of delicate, but giving room for a little bit of atmosphere, a little bit of focus on that sort of funky beat, but not enough to get in the way of the main thing, which is Utaha's voice and her delivery. And that really is where this song comes alive. I've become quite a fan of Utaha since she joined Wednesday Campanella. And I'll be honest, I was a Wednesday Campanella fan before, but um, I never really sort of followed too much the details. I just kind of like listened to their tracks and even really watched their videos back in the day. Um, and so I didn't even know when she joined the group, but I have become a big fan of her over the years. She joined seamlessly on from Kwame. And um, it's interesting because with this particular song, Again, she's not pushing herself overly, but she's getting the most of her personality through and the most of the fun side of what she does. The chorus itself is... Um, da, 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 this is not particularly complicated stuff, but she sings it with a real sort of flair, a real sense of fun. And often because we think of her very much as sort of a rhythmic person, someone who does a lot of rap, you know, a lot of credit is not always given to just how good a voice she actually has. She has got a very good, strong singing voice. You know, not like one of those big, powerful, sort of love bite style operatic voices, but she's got a lot of power behind it, which I think was also nicely highlighted when they did that um, first take video. Um, but yeah, she does a really good job here, sort of giving the chorus a nice sense of fun, but energy as well. And then when it comes into the rap, she's really on form here because she's having fun. She's one of those rappers who, I just think when you hear the joy in her voice, the bounce and the skip of the rhythm really takes on a whole different uh, sort of feeling. There's a, there's a lot of life, a lot of energy, and that's one of the important things when you got when you have like good rap in a song. You want there to be a feeling of personality because it's down to the rhythm, and a lot of rhythm is in the tone, in the way that you project and you sort of move between the syllables. And here, it's so much fun. When we get into that, I think it's the second verse where it comes in. I I just go straight into her rapping. I would just challenge anyone to not immediately have a smile on her face because 
It's just so infectious. And talking of smiles on a face, we should actually therefore talk a little bit about the video. Because again, the video is really great, but I often say there's a few different ways to do a music video. And one of the ways that is always impressive if you can pull it off is when you really make a music video that just looks like the visual interpretation of what you're hearing. It just matches perfectly. And for me, that's what this video is. Not only does it bounce along with a sort of fun energy, but it also manages to be simple, which the song is for the best part, bright, which the song feels like it is, and also very rhythmic. A lot of the way it cuts, you know, the camera movements and everything, it's very well timed to the music, it's getting a lot out of the rhythm, and it's showing a lot of Utaha. The fact there's multiple Utahas in this video, yeah, I think that, that plays with the fact that the song itself is very much, uh, it lives or dies on her wonderful performance. Um, and thus, you know, she is the strength of it and having sort of multiple Utahas in the video is great. I mean, it's funny thing is, I, I just think she's got such a joyful face as well as her performance. Uh, it's, it's interesting because I've mentioned it. I just as a personal preference, I've always been a little bit weirded out by um, face piercings, especially down here or really anywhere on the face. I don't really, I find them a bit weird. And yet with Utaha, it doesn't bother me at all because every time she just smiles, she's just got such a radiant, enthusiastic sort of smile. Um, just an infectious personality. And the director really focused on allowing her to play to the camera. And the fact that her personality is coming through in the video, again, just gives it a sense of energy. So the video is really a good, Meta, not metaphor, a good interpretation of the song. It is a nice, simple, well curated, rhythmic canvas on which to show Utaha having the time for her life. So, I guess in conclusion, I mean, obviously, I think this is a really great single. So, the real conclusion is how does this match up to Edison, which at the current moment, especially with the modern iteration of Wednesday Campanella, seems to be the benchmark for what a catchy Wednesday Campanella song should be. I'm going to say I think this is better. I think it's definitely better. Um, does it have more variation? Perhaps a little bit, but moreover, I feel like more of the personality comes across. I mean, both of the songs are in the most simple way, kind of the same thing. They're both basically simple, catchy, nicely produced, but very simple beats with a fantastic Utaha voice performance over the top. But I think this one in the chorus She's doing more than chanting, she's singing, which gets more out of her. When she's rapping, she feels like she's having more fun. I feel like there's more going on here rhythmically as well. I might have to do that comparison, a little bit of analysis, but I just feel like this song has more going on. It has more life, it has more joy. And Edison was great, but for me, this is just that little bit higher. And I would say of the radio friendly Wednesday Campanella songs, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hand up and say, I think this is the best one full stop ever to this point. Uh, I think this is their top flight radio friendly song. Now that night, that might not necessarily, I'm not saying that's a prediction. I'm not saying that it's gonna translate that way in views. Not everyone's gonna agree with my opinion, but subjectively, if I wanted to hear a Wednesday Campanella radio friendly song, this would be the one. And um, I say that for a group who've been around for quite a while. So there you go. Those are my thoughts. As always, get in the comments, tell me what you think. And until I hopefully see you very soon in Japan for the next one of these for now. Ciao, ciao.